I think it's beautiful. I like living in the country. It was a great place to bring my children up. I think it meant a whole lot. I think my children have turned out pretty well. And they, as I say, two are into cattle and two are into horses, and, and it's all a result of their bringing up here. And their dad was quite a horseman, and uh, they just were outside all the time, and we didn't have TV and so forth. And, it, it, and they were always never lacking for something to do. We're down the river from the Tongue River Dam. It's a, a very good dam. 1978, when it was still an earth dam, we did have a flood, and this house was on an island. We look, looked out at the river, and the cottonwood trees were flowing down the river with birds up in their branches. <laughs> There are those who consider that the eastern part of the state is the sacrifice area for the western part when it comes to energy development, and that's where we feel pretty strongly. There's uh, a, a, a coal bed methane. There's uh, this fracking in North Dakota that's moving westward. Uh, there's this. Uh, proposal to open the Otter Creek mine, which would be the biggest strip mine in Montana. Uh, there's an attitude uh, with some people that all oh, the eastern part of the state doesn't matter compared to the western. The western part is so spectacular and the national parks and so forth, but the eastern part is very productive and we want to protect it, and our water is very precious to us. Energy development pressures on the Tongue River are huge, and on the Tongue River Valley are huge. We've been fighting this Tongue River Railroad for uh, 40 years almost, and um, we have succeeded in preventing that. It would be very serious. But I'd say that this river has been under fire for a long time. I mean, wanting, to, wanting energy development. Eastern Montana, the sacrifice area. And as I say, this water is all allotted. It's all bought and paid for and carefully monitored. It's very precious to us. We wouldn't live like here in this way or be able to put up hay unless it was a very rainy year. I feel very lucky to live in, at this house because I think it's got a pretty awesome view. When I get too feeble or feeble-minded to mow the yard and maintain the house, and put up the storm windows and things, when I go to town, people are always saying to me, Oh, are you still living on the ranch? Which I find very insulting. <laughs> but, <laughs> I, yes, I do. I'd like to live here. I'd like to live here forever. I don't know, 
I just like to eat my water.